Welcome to Twisting Fitness. I'm Jess, and today I'm gonna to guide you through a yoga practice to help relieve stress and tension. Let's go ahead and start up at the top of the mat in standing, in mountain pose, with your hands out to the side, your chest lifted, and your core active. So I'm gonna to head to start your deep breathing. Let's inhale the shoulders or the hands to the shoulders and we're going to circle the arms to the back. So we're going to inhale as they come forward, exhale as they come back. Inhale forward, exhale, take them back. Inhale forward, exhale, take it back. Hands back to your side. Let's sweep them up. Inhale, lift your chest. Now circle your arms behind you. Circle them wide. Exhale. Inhale them up. Exhale. Take them down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now hold your arms here behind you. Activate the shoulders. Lift the chest. And breathe into that open posture. Go ahead and step your feet shoulder width apart and open the arms wide. Cross the right over the left and we're going to exhale, circle down and to the left. Coming all the way up, inhaling. Open your arms wide and cross them the other way, left over the right. Inhale and exhale, coming down towards the right side, coming up to the left, opening up the shoulders, and relaxing your hands to the side. Breathe. Take your hands and clasp them behind your back, step your feet together. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Stay there for a moment and breathe. Maybe set an intention for today's practice. Keep bringing those hands over you. Now we're gonna take the right heel up and begin to shift the right foot back, stepping way back, touching the toe down, and then setting the knee down for low lunge. I'm gonna breathe into that hold. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, take the left hand to the mat and the right hand high. Exhale the right hand down, and now we're going to shift that left leg back for a plank variation, keeping the right knee under you for a moment here. So we're in a side plank variation. I'm going to reach that top arm long. Inhale, and now we're going to exhale and pick that knee up off the mat. You can always stay on the mat with that knee, or you can go ahead and breathe into this side hold. Now release it, set the knee down, and we're going to come back through with the left hand and sweep that leg in front of you, sweeping them both up, untucking the back toe, lifting the knee, sweeping the arms up for a high lunge, and opening the chest. Inhale. Breathe. Now we're going to take the left arm under the right, or actually the left arm is going to go over the right arm and we're going to interclasp the hands. You can just, if you can't touch your hands, that's, that's okay, just cr cross the elbows and hold. So then we're going to begin to straighten that right knee 
and lift the elbows, pulling them back, but also lifting into a little back bend. And breathing. And smile, maybe. Now we're gonna to begin to shift our weight onto our left foot for eagle pose. So we're gonna take the right leg out to the side and cross it over. It's okay if you can't wrap all the way around. You can even keep the toe on the mat. Work at your level. Take it a little lower. Exhale. Inhale, begin to lift up. Shift your weight forward for warrior three variation with your arms crossed. And hold. Pull the core in. Retract the shoulders slightly. Slightly tuck the chin. Now we're gonna inhale and bring that leg up next to the left where we started. Go ahead and open and release the arms out to mountain pose. Steady your breath. You're gonna open the arms, clasp them behind your back, lift your chest. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Hold. Now we're gonna shift your weight to your right foot, taking the left leg back, way back. For high lunge, setting the knee down for the low lunge. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, take the right hand to the mat or to the hip if that's too far for you. And breathe into that left side waist, reaching that arm tall, lifting the chest. Continuing to breathe. Now we're gonna set that left hand down and get ready to send the right leg back for the plank variation. Reach it long. Inhale. And now we're gonna exhale, picking that knee up and hold. Breathe. Breathe through the exertion. Don't hold your breath. Okay, come back, send that right arm down to the mat, and then we're going to send the right leg back in front of you. Coming in, tucking the back toes, lifting the knee, sweeping the arms up and open, breathing into the high lunge. Inhale, now we're going to exhale, take the right arm Think about this here. We're going to be shifting in to the eagle pose. So we want to make sure we have the proper arm in place. And so we want the left arm to be under the right. We're going to cross it under, pull the shoulders back, begin to lift the elbows for a little back bend. Breathe. Now start to shift your weight forward onto the right foot. Slowly, take that left leg out to the side, begin to wrap it all the way around the right leg. Inhale and exhale, deepen into that posture. Pull the shoulders back, lift to the elbows. Breathe. Go ahead and start to straighten, inhale, exhale. Send that left leg back for warrior three. Nice deep breathing. Release and open your hands into mountain pose where you started. Sweep your arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head come all the way down, shoulders away from the ears. And inhale, halfway up, lengthen. It's okay if you keep your knees bent. 
Set the hands down and step back into plank. Hug the elbows in. Gonna take it down slowly to the mat. Gonna inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, roll down, interclass your hands behind you. We're gonna lift up for locust variation. Spin the, the feet together, the thighs in, and keep your breath flowing. Go ahead and press hands beside your chest. I'm gonna press into upward facing dog, hold, and we can rock side to side. Tuck your toes. I'm gonna press into downward facing dog. So our first one, you can keep your knees bent, lift the hips high, pedal the heels down. Okay, we're gonna shift forward on our toes, come through to plank, pick up the right leg, hold for a breath. Now slowly bring it in under you for pigeon. We're gonna start with an inhale, arch, and exhale, fold forward. You can stop on your elbows or you can reach your arms all the way out. We're gonna pause here and breathe in pigeon. From here, start to walk yourself up, inhale, and we're gonna exhale and shift ourselves over towards the left side. So we're gonna take that right knee, hug it in, and we're gonna grab it with our left hand. Grab your right ankle with your left hand. So then you're gonna sweep the right arm up and over as you bring the left elbow towards the mat. And then you're gonna keep the armpit facing upward. You can reach towards the foot or just hover, or you can grab the foot. Whatever is within your practice, breathe into the side body. Okay, go ahead and come up. We're gonna shift back into plank. Take the right leg back, hold, hover for a moment. Now we're gonna inhale the left leg up. And breathe for a breath here in plank. Then we're gonna bring that through, hover it through into pigeon. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lifting up, arching the back, opening, and then exhale, folding forward into your pigeon. You can stop on your elbows, rest your head on your wrist, or all the way down on the ground. Whatever feels best to you. Breathe. Release what no longer serves you. Okay, we're gonna inhale coming up. Exhale, shifting your weight over towards the left side, or the right side here. And we're gonna hug the left knee in, grabbing that ankle. You can't see me, but I'm a little bit grabbing the ankle up with the right hand, the left ankle, reaching the left arm up, taking the right elbow forward. As you reach towards that, you can either keep the arm hovering or reach towards that toe and then pull to release that side body. Just make sure you're staying open as you breathe. Okay, come back around into your plank. Left knee comes back, hovers. Lower it down and you're gonna push your hips high or downward facing dog, exhale. Steady your breath. Now we're gonna push your hands back towards your feet 
and we're gonna open into Malasana. Yoga, yogi squat, pressing the knees wide as you lift the chest. Now you have an option here to stay and rock side to side to try to work on your hip mobility or you can set your hands down, lift your knees into the armpits and start to shift your weight forward. You can pick up one toe at a time to go into crow or you can keep your toes on the mat. Work at your level. Breathe. Now start to set your feet wider than where they started, turning the toes out and coming up for goddess pose. Our elbows come out to the side, pull the core in, lift the chest and activate those arms. Breathe. I'm gonna inhale and exhale, take the right hand to the right ankle. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, the left hand to the left ankle. Coming back up. Inhale, now set your hands on top of your knees and twist to the right. Breathe. Now let's twist to the left. Breathe. Nice deep breaths in those twists. Okay, begin to turn your toes pointing forward. Straighten your knees. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Lift your chest and forward fold. Breathe, letting the hands fall over your torso with your hands clasped. Release your hands down. Both hands go over to the left foot or ankle and we are going to pull towards the right side. And then sit all the way down, pressing that knee out. Come back up to where you started and we're going to reach your hands over to the right side and begin to bend the left knee and sit all the way down. Lift your chest, breathe into Skandasana. Hips go high and we're going to walk your hands forward and we will hop your knees in to the center of your mat for camel pose, heart opener. So we're gonna start with your hands behind your back and your low back for to protect it. So you're gonna pull the core in, start to lift the chest, pushing the hips over the knees, starting to tuck the chin in. You have the option to reach for your heels. You can keep your toes up or leave them down and you're going to take your hands or fingertips to your heels if you like. And then if your neck feels good, make sure the chin's retracted. You can let your head drop back and breathe. Ustrasana. Okay, go ahead and come up. Releasing your hands to your hips. Slowly coming down into hero's pose. Resting for a moment. And then we're gonna start to shift your weight over to the side, bringing your feet around in front of you for Navasana. Boat pose, we're activating our core. You have an option to keep your feet here or lift your legs higher and straighten the knees and hold. Breathing into that abdominal activating pose. Now we're slowly gonna lower ourselves down. Make sure you have enough room. Gonna start to lift your feet up. And we're gonna lift the hips up over you, taking the hands into the lower back. As you start to bring the legs up for your shoulder stand inversion. Inversions are really good for stress relief. Good 
Go ahead and let your feet come behind you. The toes touch the mat. Clasp the fingers behind you into plow posture. Or you can keep your hands up. It's your option. Taking the knees into towards the ears. Releasing the hands and slowly lowering yourself down. Let the legs drop slowly. Now we're going to bring the knees in. Hug, them, hug everything in. Now open up your feet for happy baby. Grab the outer or inner arches or the big toes, whatever feels best to you. And we're going to press the knees towards the armpits as you push the tailbone into the ground. Breathing deeply. Bring your feet together. Lower them down on the mat for a moment. Hug the knees in once again. Drop them to the left side, open to the right side, looking to the hand, keeping the shoulder blades down. You can pick the feet up if you want to deepen the twist. Breathe nice full breaths into that twist. Hug the knees back in. Take our final twist to the right side. We're going to open up the left side body. Looking to the left left elbow and pressing the shoulder blades into the mat. You can lift the heel, lift the feet to deepen. Bring your knees back in. And let's roll it out. And then we're going to extend for our final resting posture. Shavasana. Letting your hands fall out to the sides as well as your feet and melting down into the mat, releasing everything. Thanking yourself for this wonderful healing movement. Press pause if you want to stay here longer or begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, clasp the hands, reach your body long. Roll over to the right side. And start to move your way into easy sitting pose with your legs crossed. Taking the hands to heart center. Inhaling the hands up above your head. Exhaling them wide. Inhaling the hands to the forehead. The light within me honors delight within you. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed today's stress relief flow and hopefully you're feeling a little more relaxed. And if you did enjoy the flow, don't forget to either give me a thumbs up or comment feedback below or maybe um, give a special request of some type of a video that you're interested in seeing and don't forget to subscribe for more fit flows to come hope to see you again soon bye for now